Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Bongo. And I'm Miss Jyothi, and we're from San Francisco Ballet's Dance in Schools and Communities program. And today, we are going to share with you guys a dance from Guinea, West Africa, where Mr. Bongo is from. It's called Soboninkum. Miss Jyothi, I was wondering, how did you learn a dance from Guinea, West Africa? Well, thanks, Mr. Bongo, for that question. I've been so fortunate to learn from amazing teachers, and I've also been to Guinea many times. You know, I look at learning someone else's culture like being a guest in someone's house. So if I get an invitation, I'm really excited. Maybe I bring something to share. If they want me to take off my shoes, I take off my shoes and I respect the rules in the house and I come with an open heart and lots of gratitude. And if I'm not invited, that's okay too. It's called respect and I have a lot of respect for the traditions and the culture of Guinea. But sometimes I understand that Mr. Bongo and other people from Guinea and Africans and African Americans in general may want to practice their traditions just amongst themselves. Yes. And that's fine too. So it's important to appreciate and love other cultures and also have respect for them and the people who practice them. So, we are going to dance Sobonikun, and it is my humble honor to be able to teach you a few steps. Are you ready? For the first step of Sobonikun, we're going to move our hands like this. My wonderful teacher, Yusuf Kumbasa, he calls this clapping with no sound. So you can think about clapping, but your hands don't actually touch. And I'll show you the feet too. They're going to kick out and step and step. And we'll alternate. So go from one side to the other. It looks like this all together. Like that. Yes, we're going to try it with Mr. Bongo. Mr. Bongo, can you play the rhythm for us? Oh, yeah. Here we go. break and if you've seen our show in the past few weeks you know all about the break it tells us when to start our step change our step and stop our step let's try that one more time with listening to the break going to take one foot across, bring it back, and do that two times. Across and bring it back. Then you'll do it with the other foot. Across, bring it back, across, bring it back. Now the arms are here. So we have this beautiful flowing movement with our wrists. Yeah, let's put it together. Here we go. Across, bring it back. Across, Bring it back. Other side. Across. Bring it back. Across. Bring it back. Wonderful. Let's try it with some music. Here we go. Other side. Again. Wonderful. You might have noticed my head was turning. So my head is going to follow where my foot is going. Let's try this from the very beginning. And I'm going to invite you for this first step. If you have the room, you can try moving all around your space. And otherwise, you just do it in place. Ready, Mr. Rondo? Always. Here we go. you one 
you're going to bend your knees and your arms are going to come up behind you like this. And then from there, you're going to curl your wrists and push your arms towards the sky as high as you can. So you're going to go low to high, low to high. And notice your head is going to follow you. So the head looks down and then up. Let's try it with some music. Here we go. And we'll finish like that. Beautiful. Let's put all three of these steps together. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Here we go. dancing with us today and now we know we can be creative we can inspire each other and we can learn so much by having respect see you next time bye bye